Hi students, in this lecture, I am going to discuss problems based on rolling motion. Let us see first one. See the question given. A hoop of radius r and mass m rotating with an angular velocity omega naught is placed on a rough horizontal surface. The initial velocity of the center of the hoop is zero. What will be the velocity of the center of the hoop when it ceases to slip? So here hoop means it is a ring. And same kind of questions I have discussed earlier. Now we can solve this by using either by kinematics or by using conservation of angular momentum. Let us see. Initially, only omega naught, no velocity. When slipping stops, that means rolling starts. Okay. So we have to find velocity of center of the hoop. So asked in 2013 advance. See how to solve it. So it is a ring. It is a ring. It is a ring. Initially having only rotation, no translation. After some time, rolling starts without slipping. Let us say velocity is V for center of mass, which we have to calculate. And this is omega. Since it is now rolling on ground, omega equal to V by R. Okay. So we can solve this by using kinematics and by using conservation of angular momentum. So now I'm solving by using conservation of angular momentum. Let us see. First of all, having only rotation. So M R square I value into omega. It is omega naught. It is clockwise. So I'm taking clockwise as a positive. It is taking clockwise as positive. Now see, the C is equal to when rolling starts, it has a translation and rotation. We are taking angular momentum about any point on this line. Or let us take this as x-axis. <clears throat> we can take about any point on x-axis. Then see what we get. Because of a translation, it is also clockwise. Suppose taking somewhere here point, then this becomes R bar. R bar cross P bar. It is a clockwise. So I'm writing M into V into R. Okay. Rotation is still clockwise. So it is again positive. M R square. In the place of omega, it is V by R. Okay. Now simplify M. R gets cancelled. M. R gets cancelled. V plus V. This is 2V. That means V value. It is R omega naught by 2. Okay. So, final answer is it is option C. Right. Let us see next one. A disc is rolling without slipping with an angular velocity omega. P and Q are two points equidistant from the center C. The order of magnitude of velocity is, its meaning is about the speed, right? Now see what we can say here. Given P and Q are equidistant from C. 
let us see how to decide this. So first make the given diagram. This is C and this is a P and this is a Q. Condition given that P and Q are at the same distance from C. So why it is given same distance? <laughs> the reason is that when distance is same, because of rotation for these two points, speed will be same because speed equal to R into omega. So when you are taking speed because of rotation, because of rotation, what happens is these points follow circular path. So distance is same means V equal to R omega. Speed is the same with respect to C. Okay. So now we have to focus so relation among their speeds. Now see what happens. For example, rotation is now <clears throat> clockwise. Then for this point, we can take because of a translation, because of a translation for each and every point, velocity is now <clears throat> right side, that is VCM. Because of rotation, these two points are following now subtler path. They follow subtler path. Okay. So because of that, its velocity will be r omega along a tangent. You can see here, it is r omega along the tangent. And for this r omega along the tangent. So if you want to find velocity, we have take now resultant of r omega and vcm. So vcm is now like this. Now for this R omega and VCM is now like this. Now we can see this is acute angle. This is now obtuse angle. So now we can say resultant of these two is greater than, means if you take modulus value, resultant of these two is greater than that of this one. Okay. So for C, velocity, Vc that is equal to Vcm. Coming to for Q, focusing modulus value, this will be greater than Vcm. The ratio is Vcm. This is this is R omega. Angle is acute. Resultant will be greater than Vcm. And if you are taking <clears throat> for P, for P, it will be less than Vc. Because angle is obtuse, right? So from this we can say <clears throat> VQ greater than VC and VC greater than VP, right? So we are focusing resultant of the velocity due to translation and due to rotation. Okay. Now see which is the correct one. So P, so VQ greater than VC, VC greater than VP, okay? It is option A, right? As in 2004 advanced IIT. Let us see next one. <clears throat> a sphere is rolling without slipping on a fixed horizontal plane surface. In the figure, A is a point of contact B is the center of the sphere and C is its topmost point. Then, now we are given here the relation rate Vc minus Va. I think directly we can say here. See what is Vc? Vc is now two times of velocity of center of mass, right? Vb, velocity of center of mass, Va, zero. Right. So for this, no calculation is required. Directly we can say. Right. See the first option. Vc minus Va. That means 
to VCM minus zero. This is VCM, right? So this is two VCM. This is two VCM equal to VB. VB means VCM. VC means two VCM, right? That means this is not a correct one. Cross check once. VC minus VA two VCM, right? This is 2 VCM, direction, right side. VB minus VC. That will be minus VCM, minus and into 2. Here, direction is not same. Modulus values are matching, but direction is not matching. Okay. Coming to B. VC minus VB. That means 2 VCM minus VCM. That is VCM. VB minus VA. VCM minus 0. This is matching. Option B is correct. Next. VC minus VA. That is 2 VCM, right? Equal to 2 into modulus of VB minus VC. Since it is taken modulus value, it is correct only. Okay. So difference between option A and option C. <clears throat> Here, Modulus values are same, direction not same. That's why option A is not correct. But option C is correct because of focusing only modulus. So B is correct, C is correct. Next, VC minus VA. 4 into VV. This is not correct. So without any calculation, directly we can guess answers is, answer is B and C. Okay. See the next one. <clears throat> a string is wrapped over the edge of a uniform disk and the free end is fixed with the ceiling. The disk moves down, unwinding the string. Find the downward acceleration of the disk. So this question is taken from HC1 move. <clears throat> Given uniform disk, we have to find acceleration of the disk. It means acceleration of center of mass of the disk. Okay. Let us see. This is now connected to a string. You can say string is now like this. This is now string whose one end is connected to scene. Right? Now, if you are leaving the disk, this will unwind. Unwind means it rolls like this. Okay? Now, see carefully. We have to find acceleration of center of mass of the disk. Acceleration of center of mass of the disk. You can see now this is having rolling motion. Rolling motion means it is a combination of translation and rotation. So first of all, focus center of mass. Center of mass is following now translatory motion. Say forces, tension T here. Tension T upwards, EMG downwards. Now net force, net force equal to EMG minus T. That is equal to M into AC. So we have taken force equation for center of mass. Okay. Next, take rotation about center of mass. When we take torque equation about center of mass, because of gravity, no torque. Now torque is only because of tension. And that torque is now anti-clockwise, right? This is anti-clockwise. So T into R is equal to I value MR square by 2 about its own axis into alpha. See number of unknowns, tension, 
ACM and ALF. So we require one more condition that is connecting ACM and ALF. You can see for any point on the string, for any point on the string, acceleration is zero. Means for this point also, acceleration is zero. That means here we can see R alpha, R alpha because of rotation R alpha, it is upwards because of a translation ACM downwards. ACM downwards. Resultant is now ACM minus R alpha that is equal to zero because each and every point on the string having zero acceleration. So next condition is ACM is equal to R into alpha. Right? Now we have to simplify. So I am taking in the place of alpha ACM by R. I am writing in the place of alpha ACM by R. Then R R square R. Okay, cancel. That means in the place of a tangent, see what we can write EM ACM by 2. Substitute that in equation 1. Substitute that in equation 1. Then see what you get. EMG is equal to in the place of tangent EM ACM by 2. So total value how much? 3 by 2 EM ACM. So I hope you are getting it. EMG in the place of a tension, EM, ACM by 2. 1 plus 1 by 2, 3 by 2. Mass gets cancelled. ACM is equal to 2G by 3. That is acceleration of center of mass of that disc. If they ask what is a tension, tension equal to, tension equal to how much? M ACM by 2. Right? That means into M by 2. It is Mg by 3. Right? Last check once. ACM 2G by 3. 2 gets cancelled. So it is Mg by 3. That is a tension. Okay? So whenever question given basing on rolling, focus a force equation for translation of center of mass. Next, torque equation about center of mass. Then remaining calculation part. Okay. Let us see next one. See the question given. A uniform solid cylinder of mass 1 kg and radius 1 meter is kept on an Accelerating platform of same mass 1 kg as shown. If the cylinder rolls without slipping <laughs> on the platform, find the maximum acceleration A of the platform given coefficient of friction between the cylinder and the plank is 0.4. Let us see how to start. He is asking maximum acceleration. That means what we can say here is frictional force at this contact is limiting value. Okay. Because we have to find maximum acceleration. Right. So given mass each 1 kg radius is 1 meter. U value 0 0.4. Now see. <clears throat> so first make the given diagram. So it is a disc which is placed on a plank. which is placed on a plank and for the plank acceleration is now A. We have to find what can be the maximum value of A. 
let us now solve the question from Planck frame. Okay. Then what happens is Planck will be stationary. Okay. <clears throat> then see what happens. Since Planck is having acceleration, it becomes now non-inertial frame. Right. Then we have take sort of force. Sort of force is mass into acceleration and mass is given one one into a pseudo force because of pseudo force this disc tries to slip left side because of pseudo force it tries to slip left side that means with respect to plank per contact point velocity will be left side because trying to slip then friction will be right side it is now right side. Now we are taking this as limiting value because we have to find maximum acceleration. Right? That means on the plant, friction force will be same value. Direction is now opposite. <clears throat> okay? Now see equations. Disc is now rolling without slipping. Disc is rolling without slipping. That means, again, we have to focus force equation and torque equation. So, first focus force equation, 1 into A, that is A, minus frictional force is now left, right side, FL. This is now net force, which is equal to mass into acceleration of center of mass, ACM, okay? <clears throat> so, equation 1. Now, since we are solving with respect to plank, plank is stationary. Then for a contact point, acceleration must be, means I'm focusing only tangentially, okay? Or I can say for contact point, velocity must be zero. So we see uh, because of a translation, because of rotation, r omega, right side, this must be equal to zero. Right. See once again, because of a translation VCM for contact point left side, because of rotation, velocity will be right side. So net value VCM minus R omega. For a contact point, velocity is zero. Why zero means? Because we are solving with respect to platform. So it is zero. Now differentiate once. The ACM minus r alpha equal to zero, right? That means ACM equal to r alpha. So next condition, ACM is equal to r alpha. r value how much? It is given one. That means ACM equal to how much? One into alpha. Next, coming to torque equation to find alpha, torque equation about the center of mass. About center of mass means because of pseudo force, torque will be zero. Now, torque is only due to limiting friction. That is EFL into distance R value is one. That is equal to M R square by two I value M R square by two into alpha. See, from this we get the value of alpha, right? And see, here limiting value is known because mu value is given F limiting. Mu S into normal reaction. Mu S value given how much? 0 0.4. Normal reaction is mass is 1 kg. 1 into G value 10. So it is how much? 4 Newton. That means alpha how much? That means alpha value. Alpha value. Alpha is now 2 times of FL. That is 8. 8 radian per second square. Alpha is known. So here we have to calculate A value, right? So from equation 1, see. We want FL. That is known for ACM. ACM how much? ACM equal to R alpha. R is 1. This is alpha. That means ACM how much? 8. ACM is 
alpha 8. So 8 meter per second square. Okay. So from equation 1, A value maximum how much means A equal to F limiting plus 1 into AC. Okay. You should not feel like we are adding acceleration and force. Okay. Here 1 is there. You should not forget it. <clears throat> FL, that is a 4. ACM, that is 8. It is now 8 plus 4, 12. So 12 meter per second square. That is the maximum acceleration. Okay. So like this by writing force and torque efficient. So here solving the question with respect to plant will be more easy. Okay. So I hope you got the clarity. Right.